Magandang araw po sa lahat ng ating mga kaguruan from Luzon, Visayas at sa Mindanao. Ito po yung good news natin pero ang good news nito is ibibigay lang sa teacher once a year. Kasi meron nakapagsabi sa akin na ang pera daw yung tataasan from 2,000 to 10,000. Pero hindi pala yung totoo. Based dito, yung nasa third reading na is yung uh, teaching uh, supply allowance ng mga guru na Right now, I guess that 6,000, or I do not know, na gawin na yung around 10,000 on that particular year. Kasi tranches din ito. So, ito ang tinatawag natin, an act in institutionalizing the grant of teaching supplies allowance for public school teachers and appropriating funds thereof. So, ito talaga is nasa third reading na. Makikita naman natin dito na ito ay nasa third reading na yeah, dito sa itaas, titignan natin. So, we have it here. Third reading. So, napasa na ito sa Senate. Okay, so, sino bang sponsor dito? Of course, the committee principal authors. We have to thank them. Romulo Roman, Salceda, Co, Castro Franz, Brosas, Manuel, Antoine Co, Villafuerte, Villafuerte, Horiba, Mercado Rivilla, De Los Santos, Divinicia, Angara, Rec, Teodoro, dami nila, ano? Duterte Paulo, Yap, Duterte Paulo, Vargas, Villanueva, Arugas. We have to thank these people kasi uh, natapos din ito sa house, then forward din ito sa Senate. So, Villanueva, saan ba tayo? 34, Dalepe, Palma, Saulo. Ilan ba to sila lahat? We have it, lahat-lahat sila. Principal orders we have here. 115 po silang lahat. Okay, so, dito, makikita natin ang date approved on second reading, December 6, 2023, palapit ang Pasko. Then, date approved on third reading, uh, December, na ba to? December 12, 2023 din. Then, approved, then ito ay transmitted na din sa Senate, transmitted na ito sa Senate. On December 13, asa ka na receive din ang Senate on December 13 on the same day. So, nasa Senado na ito and I guess they are on recess right now. Uh, Bakasyon pa man, babalik yan ng January 22. Uh, lunes yan, abangan natin yan. Now, tingnan natin kung ano yung nasa House Bill 9682. Okay, tingnan natin kung ano nasa nasa house bill na ito. Alright? Okay, narito na. Ito po yung kabuuan ng house bill number 9682. Tingnan natin magkano ba yung ma-receive ng teacher. Ito, once a year lang po ito. Ano? So, the same. Ayan. Then, ang title, an act institutionalizing the grant of teaching supply allowance for public school teachers and appropriating funds. Therefore, so, Teaching Supplies, ang title ito, Teaching Supplies Allowance Act. Okay. Then, anyway, the Declaration of Policy, then the coverage, sino you know ba yung mabibigyan dito? We have the grant of cash allowance authorized this actual cover. All, lahat, public school teachers who are engaged in the basic education curriculum consistent with the policy guidelines and learning delivery modalities recognized and implemented by TEPED. So, uh, teaching personnel po ito. Okay. So, section 4, ito na yung gusto nating malaman na, no? Kapag ma-approve ito, remember, hindi ata naka 6,000 lang ata ang na-receive this year, 2023, no? For the school year. Kasi hindi pa approve itong uh, Teaching Supplies uh, Act. So, ngayon, kapag ma-approve ito ng Senate, probably next year, oo, sa opening ng klase, ma-implement na ito. All public school teachers have granted the teaching supplies allowance for the purchase of tangible, intangible teaching supplies and materials. So, para saan ba ito? Uh, the very purpose of teaching supply allowance, tangible and intangible teaching supplies and materials, the payment of incidental expenses, and the implementation or conduct of various learning delivery modalities in the total of 7,500. So 7, 7,500 per teacher 
for the incoming school year 2024 to 2025. Then it will become 10,000 per teacher for the school year 25 to 26 and thereafter. So by the ne next school year in 25, 26, talagang maging 10,000 na yan. Um, medyo mag-good use na din ito, mga teachers kahit this is just once in a year kasi I guess dati-dati yung teaching allowance dati is just, every year it, just, it was just like 300 no nagiging like 1,000 so na 3,000 I guess 3,000 then now it'd be 5,000 and 6,000 and now if this will become a law so that will become 7,500 then, maging 10,000 in 25 to 26. I guess that's, that is, this is good news, oh. Not bad. Uh, if you have 10,000 a year. Pero hindi po ito pera as I was uh, expecting. At saka, sabi-sabi ng, ng iba no, na maging 10,000 na doon yung pera ng, ng mga teachers. Oh, kasi meron nagsabi na ganun. So, mali pala. Yung 10,000 na maging 10,000 on 25-26 ay yung teaching supplies allowance po ng mga teacher. Kasi, sa narinig ko nga sa mga kaibigan natin na kung pera sana to, kasi sa kasalukuyan yung pera is against 2,000 only. At saka, kapag gawin niya yung 10,000, kapag pera, uh, monthly yun, ano? Uh, monthly yung magbibigay ng pera. So, that's... Uh, 12 months in a year. Pero itong teaching supply is just once in a year lang. So, sana, kung sa pera man to, uh, supposedly, sabi-sabi nila, kung sa pera man to, malalaki sana ang sweldo ng teacher. Non-taxable pa to, ano? So, pero hindi po yung mangyayari. Kasi hindi po ito pera, ito po ay teaching allowance ng mga teaching supplies, allowance ng mga teachers. Ito po ay ibibigay only once a year. Okay? Hindi kagaya sana ng pera na every month. Alright? So, wag masyadong ano, uh, aasa. <laughs> okay? okay? So, this is good news kasi nasa third reading na Senate then pipirmahan lang yan ng Pangulong uh, Marcos kapag ma-okay na sa Senate. But right now, so nasabi ko na sa earlier, uh, the House of Representatives at saka yung Senate they are on recess. Uh, Nakabang-bakasyon po sila. Babalik po sila January 22, 2024. So, abangan po natin yan. Okay? So, thank you so much. And pray. Uh, contact your uh, senators and congressmen para sa uh, thanking them for this. At saka, yung inaasam-asam po ng mga teacher na salary increase. So, touch, keep in touch with your, ano, uh, to, you know, to intercede for that particular request for salary increase. Kasi ito, this is just supply, uh, this is only 10,000, so, wala masyadong uh, effect. Anyway, magpasalamat na din tayo kapag maging batas ito. Kasi, malaki-laki na din. Next opening school year, next year, 24-25, it will be 75. Not bad. Okay? So, that's all for this uh topic and have a great day everyone